Welcome back to Drinks and Chill. My name is Jill. This is Matt. And today we are doing something um, that we normally do. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I was like, is this something special? Not really. Um, so we're going to do a blind tasting mm -hmm. for Matt. Yeah. He picked out a whiskey. I don't know what it is. Nope. Um, but we're going to do the normal thing, go through, rate it, and then I'll find out what it is. Yep. And this is something that we may or may not have done before. Hey, but then it's a revisit. Oh, it was the very old Barton that you had poured for me blind before. That was the last uh, blind one we did. Last blind one that was done for me. Well, it's going to be a very odd review then. What do you mean? Is it very old, Barton? All right, you just won't know till the end. Oh my God, I'm scared now. This is very old, Barton. You won't know till the end. Remember, it has to be your unbiased opinion. That's the reason why we do blinds. Did you do this on purpose? Okay, it smells a lot like very old Barton. I'm just saying that. Because I remember when I smelled that, I thought, ooh, it's kind of like rye-ish, mm -hmm. but it's also bourbony, so I thought it was a high rye bourbon. And I still don't know what the mash bill is for very old Barton. But I'm gonna say that again, because I'm getting like the licorice thing, herbal -ness. Being herbal, a lot of herbal, the yeah. fresh. Herbal, earthy. It does have a very rye smell to it too, right? It does. So could it be a rye? I don't know. I think it's very old Barton, man. I'm just gonna say it. I think it's that again. The bottle's about the right height. It's probably scotch. <laughs> <laughs> when you start getting into your own head. <laughs> it smells very dry too. Yeah. Like this is very few that I smell like it's it's very dry. There's not much sweetness there. Mm -mm. I wonder like if it's like from Texas, like a, a dry grass, dry, like you know, like tumbleweeds. It's unique. Mhm. Mm Cheers. Cheers. Did you get anything? I let it sit in my tongue for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Still getting the herbal licorice. Very similar to the smell for me. Yeah, I don't know if this is one I would go back to. It doesn't taste bad, I just don't think it's for me. It is very herbal. I'm trying to like recall this, but I feel like I've had this before. Yeah, it, it does taste very familiar. I'm starting to think it's not very old Barton now. Because I, that one did have more bourbony qualities to it, whereas this one doesn't really. It could still be a, ver a bourbon for all I know, but... I feel like I had this before. Oh, well... We'll find out. My memory is terrible sometimes. Most of the times. 95% of the time. Yeah, herbally, earthy. Yep. Like I'm eating dried leaves. Like you ever smelled leaves? Like when you're raking leaves, mm -hmm. that smell? Yeah, but I'm getting a lot of that quality, like oregano, mm -hmm. sage. Yeah. That woodiness is there. I don't yeah. even know if I'm getting vanilla though. Are you getting vanilla at all? It's like in the very, very back. You probably can get it more in the finish. Yeah, it does show up in the finish. We're not doing the finish yet, but no, but no, I mean, you kind of it kind of shows up. Finish. So it's much sweeter in the taste in the finish. Or it is, isn't it? Much sweeter in the finish than it is in the taste. It's kind of oily in the finish. Yeah, it kind of lingers a little bit more mm -hmm. coating. I'm gonna go back to the white wine, like a dry white wine thing that showed back up on the finish. I feel like this is something that like you were drinking like, oh, this should have been chilled and it mm -hmm. wasn't chilled. Not very sharp, maybe like a small, like one second bite, but that's about it. Yeah, I didn't really get any sharpness at all. I got some stuff I didn't expect in the finish, I'll nope. have to say. See, I don't know if I like it or not, but I keep drinking it. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's it's interesting. Mm -hmm. It's unique. Um, I don't think I like it, but I can appreciate it for how unique it is. Yep. I could see that this would be liked by people. I'm just not those people. Liked by people? <laughs> yeah. You ready for a reveal? I'm ready for the reveal. Okay. Did you want to guess what it is? At first, I thought it was very old Barton again, but I don't think that's it. Okay. It's really tough to guess what this is because 
Even though it has rye characteristics, I don't think it's a rye. I'm gonna say it's a bourbon. Like a low proof bourbon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not even gonna say where it's from. So while I was tasting this, mm -hmm. I was like, I think we had this before. Even though like the seal cracked when I got it. So you- Wait, the seal cracked? Yeah, I think it did. Oh, so it's a brand new bottle. Yeah, but that means that you've, you liked it enough to get it again if we tried it before, Oh, okay. right? Yeah. So that's all in my head. Anyways, we'll see. Oh! It's H and H. So you're right, it's bourbon. Yeah. It's not very old Barton. No, it's not. We haven't tried this, but we have, okay. So we've tried another whiskey from this distillery that shares okay. the same mash bill. Oh, so we tried H and H, but not this particular bottle. No, we haven't tried H and H. Oh. It's, it comes from Buffalo Trace. Oh, and okay. They have another whiskey Dang, comes from that uh, has the same mash bill as Ancient Age. Really? Which is Blanton's. Well, that's completely different taste. Right? Let's see if there's any... Uh, the same qualities? Yeah. Because it's, it's the same, like I said, mash bill. Now, this is a little bit higher proof. This is 40%, right? Yeah, 40%. This one is 93 proof. Mm. I remember we tried Blanton's before and... A couple of times. Yeah. And um, I still believe this is an overrated whiskey. The saying. And we did that too in a, one of our videos. Yeah. Yeah, I poured this one blind for him in a video. And his rating was fairly low. Now see, right off the bat, on the smell of the Blanton's, I'm getting more sweetness. Yeah, I'm getting more bourbony. A lot more sharper. Yeah. But I will say it still kind of has that herbal kind of thing happening. Not as much as this one, but it still has sort of an herbal quality to it. I do think the Blanton's is better. I think this one's more unique for the age and age. That was I, super I don't know. I think I like this one better. Really? My rating is probably not going to say the same thing as these two, but I think this one's better. Hmm. It's definitely more unique. I guess this is the reason why we said it was overrated because it, it tastes like a bourbon, but for the price, it's just a taste like it's bourbon. It just mm -hmm. doesn't really go by. Maybe the reason I thought it was very old Barton is just because, I don't know, maybe that's just kind of how those like cheap whiskeys taste. Well, I'm glad I picked what we haven't tried before. There was a part of me that I was thinking like, he picked very old Barton again, just... like a month later. <laughs> Score time? Score time. All right, so on the nose, I gave it 50% exactly, 1.5. I gave it a 2.2. .2. Okay. Wow. Wait, no, never mind, I lied. I gave it a 1.1. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong one. Well, you gave it a 1.1? 1. 1.9. Uh, oh, okay. The taste, I gave it a 3.1. Okay. The taste, I gave it a, what is that? Oh, a 2.7. Wow. Okay, so just barely over 50%. Yeah. And then on the finish, I gave it a 1.1. 1. 1. I gave it a, okay. <laughs> I should've just kept it where I was at. A 1.15. Oh, okay, you just was, had to be fancy. But I was like thinking about 1.1, 1. 1, but I was like, but is it 1.1 1. 1 quality? <laughs> and I was like, maybe 1.2. No, that seems way too high. I think I gave it a one. I think I gave it a, just a tad over 50% because the finish exceeded my expectations mm -hmm. a little bit. I wasn't really expecting to get much out of it. But then when I really like, like focused on it, I was like, oh, hey, there's actually more happening here. I don't know if it's a lot or if it's any good, but it's, it's more than what I expected. <laughs> yeah. Ancient age uh, ratings will appear right here so you can see how this ranks for us. And now our leaderboard will be popping up showing our top 10 whiskeys of the year. And this one will show up at the bottom showing uh, its rating compared to the top 10. It won't be in the top 10. But down in the comments, let us know what you think of ancient age and um, other kind of budget bourbons, like bourbons that are 15 or under. Let us know what is your favorite budget $15 or under bourbon. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know whenever we post. We will see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.